So today we're going to be talking about my amazing things that tick me off, aka pet peeves, aka things that I can't stand, aka people that I can't stand. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you guys hit the little subscribe button on top and leave your comment at the bottom. So when you guys go out with friends, there's always that one friend that orders everything. And then when the bill arrives, he or she is just kind of like standing there, pretending that they're on their phone, pretending like they're going to the bathroom, pretending like they got something else better to do than look at the check. And I'm like, girl, really? I'm like, nope, I hate cheap people. I can't stand people that try to be bougie, but don't have the cash. I mean, I get it. There's times where people just don't have the money and it's totally understandable. But when you go all out and don't have the mula, honey, take a seat. Another thing that I hate is when there's someone that you think is cute and then you introduce them to your friends. All of a sudden your friends are like flirting and you're just like, what the fuck? I just told you that that person was cute. Really? Slut? Another thing that I really, really hate is liars. I can't stand liars. I screenshot everything, okay? And if you're gonna be saying that you called me, and I know for a fact that you didn't because, honey, I have an iPhone 10, and this little baby, it's really hard to miss a call if I don't ignore. So next time you try to be slick about it and say that you call me when you didn't, take a seat. I do thank all those people that are just so dramatic in life because those are the ones that I don't want to be. Those are the ones that I learn from. Those are the ones that I want to stay away from. And as I get older, guys, I get to know my crew more and more. I get to drop a lot of people that I just don't want in my life. And little by little, I've been doing that throughout the years. And it's not like I hate you. It's more like I just don't want to be part of your life. It's just like, leave me alone. You stay in your lane. I stay in mine. And that's it. I mean, there's other friends that you love so much. And you can't stand at the same time. It's like a love-hate relationship. Have you guys had any of those where you have people in your life that you've known for years, but then again, they're all drama, or they're all very, very like mean, or they got their moments when they're sweet, they got their moments when they're just so selfish, it's just like, okay, bitch, take your pill and take a seat. I mean, I just say how it is, and a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people think I'm so mean because I am that bitch that will say it how it is. I am that bitch that if you think of it, I will say it. Don't you hate when you have friends and they ask you, is this outfit cute? Do I look fat? Do I look okay? And most people are honest and say, oh, you look cute. You look nice. You look skinny. I'm the type of honest friend that if I know that that dress doesn't look good on you or that outfit doesn't look good on you, I will say it. I will be like, nope, change it because you look fat. And it might sound a little bit rude, but at the same time, if... It's always like that when I'm filming a video, guys. But, okay, so friends are like, how do I look? And you're honest, and then they take that to the heart. They're like, oh my God, why did you have to say that? Bitch, you're asking me a question. I'm gonna be honest because I'm your friend. I've been there, okay? There was a stage in my life where I was just so freaking obese, eating everything, drinking every single drop of alcohol, 
not caring about my body, not caring about myself, and I gained so much weight. I felt so freaking miserable. I wasn't happy. I didn't feel attractive. I felt like freaking a pig. And when I realized that, I have friends that are honest and look at me and say, boy, you need to stop eating that white castle. And I did. I got my shit together. I dropped a few pounds. I became a vegan for about a year. Well, I'm not a vegan anymore. We will talk about that a little bit later, guys. But I'm like, okay, if you're gonna say something, say it and be honest because honesty is everything, guys. If you're not honest to yourself, if you're not honest to the people that you love, if you're not honest to the people in your circle, then what the hell are you doing? That means you're just not being fucking real. Anyway, guys, it's just like one of my pet peeves when you go and support people that you have in your life that are either entertainers, um, that they have a show, that they have anything that they are passionate about, and they ignore you. They're sitting down in their table while you literally paid a good amount of cover just to see them, bitch. Bitch, take a seat. No. My thing is, if I'm there to support you, make sure that you make me feel love. Make sure that you make me feel like you care. My thing is, why freaking have a big scene and pretend that you're this big when in reality you can't even pack a club? My thing is, be down to earth, be honest, be who you are. And of course, you're going to have people that are not going to like you, but who cares? Life is life. Even if you are the most sweetest person in the world, there's still going to be people out there that are just not going to like you. And it's okay, because it is life. Life. I got this at Forever 21. Forever 21 has the most amazing outfits for spring. Check them out. I am impressed. And I did a little shopping spree at Forever. I don't have time to show you guys because I packed everything already. But let me tell you guys, you need to stop by and check them out because they have some really cute ass outfits and you guys know how picky I am about them. If they're not cute, I'm not gonna buy them. There's people that literally buy outfits that are not cute and they know it and they still wear them. I'm just like, no, no, no. But anyway guys, I'm super excited about spring. This is actually one of my favorite seasons in the whole wide world because it's prepping up for summer. It gets hotter, it gets nicer, people start coming out. There's barbecues, there's lots of drinking, lots of partying, lots of hanging out with friends. And then boom, summer arrives and it's all over again. And then Christmas, and then winter, and then snow, and then, well, I skip Halloween. We all love Halloween. I think this year for Halloween, I wanna throw a big Halloween party and just enjoy it with the people that I love. Also, people have been asking me, they're like, are you a singer? Are you an actor? Are you just a crazy guy on YouTube? Well, I'm all the above. I do singing on the side. I'm not a full-time singer because I really don't have time for that, but I am an electronic dance music EDM singer. Um, I go by the name of Radimus, which is not only my stage name, but my real name. It is an Egyptian name, and no, I'm not Egyptian. I'm a little bit of everything, guys. So yeah, I also do a little acting. I haven't done much acting yet, guys, because I am horrible, horrible, horrible. I don't memorize my lines, and I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna say, oh, this and that. I just can't memorize my lines, therefore I'm not a really good actor. I do need a little bit more practice, but hopefully I get back in the studio and start rehearsing and maybe book some acting gigs because I do enjoy acting. And something else that I really like is modeling, but I think I'm probably too old for that now. And I did gain a few pounds, but all in the right places. You can't even tell, guys. Like, my stomach is not even, like, huge how it was back in the day. 
Um, I do have a little double chin, which I hate. Oh, I should just get this done. Let me call my uncle and just be like, hey, uncle, how are ya? Oh, anyway, let's not talk about that because we really don't want to get into it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and all the support. And remember, subscribe to this channel and leave your comment at the bottom. Until next time, this is your friend Radimus. I love you guys so, so much. Bye. Tonight, tonight, tonight is a time, time, time of a life.